This is an extract from the book entitled Her Seed, The Amazing Love of the Extraordinary Father. The book reviews an exciting plot that existed before antiquity. The righteousness of God has got to do with justice. God's righteousness demands punishment for sin. This granting of amnesty based on the punishment of God the Son as Jesus the man is the gift of righteousness. What it means is that God did not close an eye on that hideous crime of treason committed by his beloved children. As much as they were seduced because of their innocent nature, there was intention accompanied by action, mens rea with actus rea. Treason was committed. Si gina. The word si means die in the Hokkien dialect and gina means children or kids. So in Hokkien, the phrase si gina is used to score someone who got you into trouble. However, the triune God assumed full personal responsibility for the crime of his beautiful children by offering himself as the punishment. This satisfied justice and at the same time cleared the criminal charges against his beloved children. With this gift of righteousness, his beloved children have been set free. While this gift is freely and readily available, God's beloved children have to receive it. This precious gift is unearned, unmerited, and undeserved. It is called grace. God, the creator and possessor of the heavens and the earth, gave his son to save the world while it was still at odds with him. We did nothing to earn it, and once we have received it, we can be just as sure that there is nothing we can do or otherwise to lose it. In this is love, not that we love God, but He first loved us. This is the amazing love of the extraordinary Father. God demonstrated His love for us through Christ crucified. Jesus was the visible representation of the invisible God. So how can we receive this gracious gift of love? It is by confessing Jesus as Lord and believing in the heart that God raised him from the dead. If you have not received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I invite you to make this confession. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. Today I receive your gift of salvation. I trust you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe you are the Son of God who died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day to acquit me from all charges. Thank you for being my sin debt and satisfying the demands of justice with your precious blood. In you, I now stand as the righteousness of God, meeting all his standards. Amen. Right this very moment, all of heaven rejoices over you.
thankful for the grace of God that is upon this nation. I am a Singaporean. In Singapore, we celebrate and embrace our diversity of backgrounds, languages, and beliefs. I have peppered this book with some seasoning of Singlish and added a dash of the Singaporean culture. If you like Singaporean cuisine, this will serve as an ad added attraction. You will also get to learn some Singlish, Malay, Hokkien, Cantonese, and Mandarin along the way. If I speak Tamil, I would have definitely included more of it. Vanakam. Song lyrics that are deemed appropriate to the respective portions of this book have also been included. The titles of the songs are appended accordingly and you can YouTube it. Staying true to the belief that the picture speaks a thousand words, graphics have also been included in the unfolding pages. They serve to provide some comic relief. In summary, this book will appeal to your eyes, ears, heart, mind, and most importantly, your soul. Okay, all set now. Hope you will find this book shook. The general meaning of the word liang can be roughly interpreted as already. The word shook means very enjoyable or pleasing, used as a term of general approval. Singlish Wan Sui. Long live Singlish. As you immerse in the scriptures presented in this book, you will be drawn into an exciting and intriguing plot interwoven in fabrics of evil, mystery, murder, victory, love, and much more. It is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Brace yourself for an exciting time in the world. Get to see Jesus hidden in your Old Testament and have a taste of the Emmaus experience. Witness for yourself the salvation plan of God from before antiquity to the present church age that we live in. Marvel at the profound wisdom of the triune God as he obscured the identity of the promise it from the frustrated Master Vivian who played the hide and seek game over thousands of years. The Haman vs Mordecai saga in the book of Esther was a foreshadowing of Satan's humiliating defeat. Satan knew that the promise it would come from the Jews, but he did not know who exactly. This probably explains the disproportionate hatred towards the Jews in general. He tried to kill the promise it by attempting to exterminate the entire Jewish race. However, God worked behind the scene to thwart Satan's sinister attempt and turn the table against him. It was a demonstration of God's signature move, beating Satan at his own game. The Jews were eventually saved from complete decimation. Today, this significant victory is celebrated as the festival of Purim in Israel. This is just an appetizer before the main course. So, tighten your spiritual seatbelt and dive right into this exhilarating ride to the passage of time as we unravel one of the greatest biblical mysteries since time immemorial. The sole objective of this book is to attempt to make you salivate for the Word of God. This is motivated by 1 Peter 2, 2-3. You will follow the lead of the foundation and reference scriptures all the way through to the New Testament. In the course of this journey, we will be making many interesting observations from scriptures. For example, God's signature move, the crime Adam committed, the identity of the missing man 
in the account of the adulterous woman brought before Jesus, the principle of representation and identification, the significance of the bruising of the serpent's head and the heel of the seed, the many attempts by Satan to exterminate the promised seed. Our Chinese martial arts is akin to the concept of cornerstone, how God served poetic justice on Satan. How is it all about Jesus' faith in and obedience to God and not ours? How Jabez and Joseph were types of Jesus? How low a level God the Son condescended as Jesus the man? How the Bible interprets the Bible? How the Hokkien phrase Mai Tu Liao encapsulates the meaning of Ephesians 5.16? How the righteous of God are beneficiaries of a recession? These are just some of the many examples of observations that we will make in this book. Grab a copy of the book to find out more. The views presented in the book are based on my understanding and observations. Readers are encouraged to check to the relevant scriptures to draw their own conclusions.